Everywhere Stampers and Crafters, my name is Tammy White from StampWithTammy.com and welcome to our Friday online class. And I'm, I'm really excited about today's card. It was designed by my friend Georgia Jaguar. It is absolutely beautiful. I love this flamingo. It's super, super cool. And um, he's created with some cool techniques. It just It's a quick, easy card. I think you're going to love it. But the techniques are just fantastic and perfect for stampers and crafters of all levels. So welcome aboard, everybody. And I just want you to know my comments are down here. So when I'm looking down, I'm, I promise I'm not being rude. <laughs> I'm looking down at the comments. <laughs> and I want to make sure that, that I can get all of your questions while we're on here. It's great to see you guys. Welcome, everybody. Um, so... I have um, a couple of giveaways today, as always when I'm live. Um, I love to give stuff away. I love to say thank you to you guys, and that's just one fun way that we can we can have some excitement as well as the stamping. So today's prizes are um, live. I'm giving away the Touches of Texture stamp set. This is a wood mount stamp set. It's a two box set, um, and then I get I have three of these packs. They're embellishment packs. They're um, the e glitter enamel dots the jewels, the pearl jewels, and the wink of Stella. So this is a whole bundle, and I've got three of them for three lucky winners. So there's four live prizes and an after live. So the after live is if you don't win one of the lives, if you were live and don't win one of the lives, or if you couldn't make the live and you're commenting after. So how do you enter? <laughs> you enter all the same way simply by leaving a comment on this video whether you're watching it live on facebook or you're watching the after live on um, youtube either way if you leave a comment on this video you will be entered to win um you will be entered to win the drawings the after live um if it's after live in the lives if you're live now if you share this broadcast and typed in the comments the word shared s-h-a-r-e-d I will enter you a second time into the Afterlife drawing, and that is for the Tranquil Tulips Hostess stamp set. This is um, a special stamp set that you can get with Stampin' Rewards when you have a workshop, if you're in my VIP club, if you redeem your frequent buyer points from me, you get this stamp set. You can you can choose to get this stamp set, but it's not one you can buy. You have to get it um, through one of the incentive rewards or if you win it here today. And speaking of frequent buyer points, just wanted to do a quick shout out because I have a special offer going right now for my frequent buyer points, which you earn anytime you place a $25 in my order in my online store. And I'm ordering, I'm offering double frequent buyer points this um, until Tuesday, August 15th. So that's this Tuesday. So there's only a couple of days left in this and you can double your, you know, get, get that free stamp set even quicker with the double frequent buyer points. And again, you can earn hostess stamp sets with that. You can earn regular stamp sets, any stamp set, any amount. So that ends on Tuesday and there's information on that on my blog simply by clicking on the link in the video description. And this one started today. This is the Paper Pumpkin Special for new subscribers. If you're loving the Paper Pumpkin ideas, haven't quite hit that trigger finger yet to, to, er, to subscribe to the Paper Pumpkin Kits yet, if you do it now through September 10th, you will get 50% off the first kit. And use this hostess code, and this is also on my blog at the link in the description above. So, um... Other exciting news is the holiday catalog is going to be starting for customers on September 1st. It's already live now for demonstrators. Um, and I had some dates here. I just wanted to, to shout them out to you guys again. The dates are um, live for demonstrators now. I have a demonstrator swap now. If, if you have your, your pre-order stuff and you want to do a card swap with us, there's information in the event section of my Facebook page. It's also on my blog as well. The catalogs have been started shipping out to you guys. So to my customers, if you, um, if you have purchased from me, if you're in my stamp club, if you've, you know, if, if you've, if you've done business with me, you are getting a catalog or you should be getting a catalog <laughs> according to the post office. So they started on August 7th. They say they could take up to two weeks. So you guys should be seeing them really soon. If you're a demonstrator, you'll be getting yours directly from Stampin' Up. Um, if you didn't pre-order, I think they go out on August 12th. But, you know, you get free ones as well. And again, they start on September 1st. So that's very exciting. We're going to have lots more with that coming up. Okay, you guys. So let's get started with some of the stamping. So, again, these are all the prizes. Leave a comment to be entered into the drawing. I will draw these live at the end. All of these here. There's three bundles of embellishments. 
and one touches of texture stamp set. And then the after live will be drawn on August 25th. And I'll announce that one too. So that one you can comment to enter. And if you share this broadcast on Facebook and type shared into the comments, I will enter you a second time into that. Okay, let's go. So <laughs> we're going to be making that awesome flamingo card. And if you're new to my videos and my lives, I always have a free PDF on my blog for every video that I do. And there's some um, really neat things on this PDF that will help you. One is the measurements, which is important for everybody, right? You want to know what the measurements are. So you can download this for free at the link on the video description. The other is the actual URL or uh, the um, QR smart code for your smartphone to get back to this blog post that has the picture. It has the video that we're making right now that you could be a part of by leaving a comment here. <laughs> um, and so you can go back and do this if you're not doing it with us live and you want to come back and do it later. The other important thing it has on here is the supplies and some a place to write some notes here. Um, and so I'm going to be teaching you guys um, a couple of tricks. Maybe I'll teach them to you. Maybe you guys already know these. Again, this is a very quick and easy card, which is my favorite. My favorite kind of card is the kind that are quick and easy to make and they're wow cards. And then this fit the bill for all of that. <laughs> oh, Geneva, thank you. So she, she was watching Linda earlier and popped over and now you're what? So tell me what you guys think about this. So Linda and I are going back to back on Fridays. And we, we figured you guys will either love it or, or you know, not have time for both. So let, let us know your thoughts on doing the back-to-back -back lives. And, you know, we will, we will definitely be, be watching that to see if you guys, if you love it, we're going to keep doing it. If, you, if it's too much for you, then we'll, we'll, we'll try to stagger our times a little bit. So, but I don't know. We were starting to think it might be a lot of fun to do them that way. And again, Linda and I will be um, live back with the stamp and scoop on this Tuesday. So the um, the information for that will be on my events and on the Facebook page. Okay, so um, I am using two stamp sets here. They're Stampin' Up stamp sets and these are available in my online store. It's the Fabulous Flamingo. I love this set. And this is a two-step stamp. It's called a two-step stamp, but this is actually like a multi. We're actually using three pieces of the Flamingo today. And I'm gonna show you a trick that I found easy to line up that flamingo. And for the background, we're using this burlap background stamp. And I'm gonna show you a little tip on how to make it look like it's really like a dimensional piece of burlap back there. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start with our stamping. And I'm starting with that big burlap stamp. I'm gonna use the crumb cake ink pen. It's a lighter of the brown tones. And instead of inking the whole thing up like I normally would, I'm just kind of dragging the corner of the ink pad, and I'm gonna hold it sideways so you can kind of see that. Just kind of dragging it a little bit across that burlap. So it doesn't, it's not actually covering the entire stamp. And then, because I want this to be really light on the background, I'm gonna take a little piece of scrap paper here, and I'm gonna stamp this off once, just lightly. So it's a little bit, it's gonna be very light on our background. And then I'm going to take that whisper white piece of paper. Okay. <laughs> there is lots of love. Linda is right. She's checking out that you check it out the back to back back to back lives to see how you guys feel about that too. And it looks like right now there is a lot of love for doing them all back to back. So that's great. I love it. I love it. I love being able to get your opinions on that too. So we know when we have a hit and when we want to change things. Okay. So now I'm stamping that and that gives us our, our light dimension look. Now on mine, I'm thinking there's a little bit more white space there than I wanted. So I'm gonna do that one more time. The beautiful thing about the cardstock is there is two sides to it. And for those of you who just popped in a little late, I can show you this technique a second time. So what I'm doing is I'm just dragging the crumb cake across the burlap, kind of at an angle a little bit. And then I'm gonna stamp it off once on some scrap paper so that it is slightly lighter shade of crumb cake and then I'm going to <laughs> Jean says she's been thinking about that flamingo but now she has to get it now we have an awesome awesome dimensional piece and you see I, I wanted some white space in there I want some dimension it really adds I think personally it adds to everything now I've got a really dark spot here so I'm just going to snap the flamingo over that part because it's all going to work out in the end it's all good. It's going to look slightly different every time, but it's a really, really neat technique. 
Okay, so now we're going to stamp this flamingo, and I am going to show you what I found to be the easiest way to line it up. And I didn't find this set to be too, too hard to line up. I've got three ink pad colors here. We've got powder pink, and then I've got flirty flamingo, because you have to use flamingo, right? You have to use flirty flamingo when you're playing with a flamingo stamp. It just seems to make sense. And then basic black. So these are the three pieces of the flamingo that I'm using today. This one, the outline is going to go in basic black and then his body is going to go in the lighter of the pinks, which is the powder pink. I'm going to actually start with his body and leg outline all together. And this one's going in the flirty flamingo. Flirty flamingo, a flamingo and flamingo. Of course, of course. So I'm going to stamp that a little bit to the right on this white panel. Now I'm gonna do the black. Originally I was doing the black first and then I found that I really liked being able to line his feet up and I just found that worked better. Okay, so I'm gonna push this out of the way so I'm hoping that you can see without my head getting in the way. <laughs> the beautiful thing about these photopolymer stamps is that you can see right through them. There we go. Okay. So I can line that up perfectly, perfectly. And then I'm going to stamp his little body, which it doesn't even need to line up awesomely because it's a lighter shade of pink and it's okay if it goes over. And I'm going to put that on top. And then we have a phone. Look at that. <laughs> He's awesome, right? He is awesome. And then we're just going to stamp our tickled pink for you words, which could make this card pretty good for most any occasion. All right, so I'm not loving my black ink pad today. What is wrong? I think I need some. I think I need to re-ink it is what I think I need to do. And I don't see where I am going to be able to line that. I, I'm pretty good at lining up, but I don't know if I'm that awesome. So forgive me if I just mess this up here. Wow. Way to, <laughs> way to go, clear stamps. Photo bottle and stamps are the bomb, right? Did you see that? Just line that right up and, and you can't even tell. All right, so... That pretty much is our card. Now all we have is a little bit of assembly, which is the easy part, right? Was that awesome? Do you love that? <laughs> okay, so well, that's fine. I got a little snail adhesive here. All right. Am I going to attach that? <laughs> An evil alert. I love you, Rosemary. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, so there is our card. It wasn't lined up awesomely. I did not do an awesome job with that, did I? I just kind of put that on there without paying attention. So we're going to go really, really carefully here and peel that right back up and try to do that one again. Bad Tammy. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh you know what you guys seriously i said we said this on tuesday too i said you know one of the the most important tricks that you learn from me it's not always how to stamp it's how to fix your mistakes because i always make them especially when i'm live that's when they're going to come out right okay there we go now he's on there straight now the last piece is some sequins and I have a little tin of these really cool sequins that um, Stampin' Up! has. I think they're awesome. They're iridescent sequins. Um, and for some reason, I couldn't find it. But as it turns out, we have some almost identical that came in a paper pumpkin kit that I had a couple left over. So I'm going to use the ones from my paper pumpkin kit. Thank goodness for those kits. Love them. And the pieces after <laughs> when they come in handy. And what I'm taking right now is some mini glue dot adhesive for the, the sequins. So I'm actually going to stick those sequins right to the mini glue dots and then stick that right onto the card and these might be a hair lighter than the, the iridescent ones that were in the catalog but they're still pretty cool <laughs> i still love it right it was the perfect touch and here it is with the actual iridescent um sequins that georgia made so it's, it's beautiful, isn't it? Such a fantastic, fantastic card. I love, love, love it. And I, I, again, thanks to my friend George Gear for that awesome idea. Okay, guys. So 
that is our stamp card for today. And now it's time for some giveaways. You guys ready for some giveaways? Make sure you leave your comment now. You got about, I don't know, a minute, a minute left to, uh, to enter that. Okay, so I'm going to start with the bundle. So what I've got here is I've got the, uh, it's a bundle of embellishments. We've got the pearls. This is the old set of pearls. Yeah. And the brand new glitter dots and a wink of Stella pen. So you get all three of these pieces if you win. And I have three of them to give away right now to three lucky, <laughs> three lucky commenters on this Facebook live. Okay, so let's pop on over to our giveaway page and the first winner is good luck everybody it's sally talman bauman bauman congratulations sally so our next winner of the same bundle is good luck good luck here it comes judy cosma degata congratulations judy and our last winner is Patricia DeSando. Congratulations to Sally, Judy, and Pat Patricia. You have all won the bundle of embellishments right here. And um, be sure to fill out the prize claim form, which is located in the, you can get it in the link of this video's description or on this project page. You have two weeks to, to claim your prize, or I give it away to some, another lucky winner on another live. Okay, so our last Live prize to give away is the Touches of Texture stamp set. This is a two box set. It's the wood mount touches of texture for you wood mount fans and um the winner of this one is judy holman congratulations judy we have two judy winners today so congratulations to everybody who won um don't forget if you didn't win you have not you're not completely out of the running on august 25th i will draw the winner for the Tranquil Tulips Hostess stamp set. And if you absolutely love that set, don't win it or don't want to take your chances on winning it and have to have it, you can also redeem this with frequent buyer points with my frequent buyer point specials. And I have a double frequent buyer point special happening right now until Tuesday. And you can also get it if, when you are the hostess of my VIP club. All right, guys. So thanks for joining me this Friday. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend and we will see you back on Tuesday. Linda and I will be back together with the Stampin' Scoop and the Daisy Grays. We'll see you guys then. Have a great weekend.